Hi friends, today we are going to do a science demonstration using celery and food coloring to learn about capillary action and transpiration. Let's get started. So to get started, I took two mason jars and filled them about one third of the way with regular sink water. And I also took two stalks of celery and made sure that both of the stalks had leaves at the top so we could really get the full effect for our demonstration. For my food coloring, I picked orange and blue as my colors because they are bold and will be really easy to visualize for our demonstration. And I took a coffee stir, you can take a tongue depressor or something that can help you mix the food coloring into the water really, really nicely. The first phase of our demonstration is done. Good job. We are going to move on to the second phase. We'll need to use a sharper knife. Um, so go ahead and ask an adult, maybe a family member, um, to help you cut the base of the stem um, and expose those nice fresh cells to the water. It should look kind of like this. This is my favorite part. We get to finally put our celery stalks into the water. So go ahead and put one celery stalk into each of your jars filled with their respective colors. I started this part at 6.30 p.m. so this is what it looks like. It is 12 a.m. or midnight and about five and a half hours later we see some progress. There's orange on those leaves and we've got a deeper blue on these leaves. Let's check back in the morning. Good morning, friends. It is 10 a.m. I woke up super excited to look at our celery. And we can see some of the orange going up the stalk. And even the blue, it's gotten a bit deeper as well, hasn't it? We'll check back in at 24 hours, 6.30 p.m. and see what the final result is. To help us pass the time before we see the final product, let's learn a quick lesson about plant cells and this process called capillary action. The xylem is a really important part of the plant cell that helps move water through the plant in order to feed it water and nutrients from the ground to help it grow. The xylem is made of cellulose tubes. Water molecules stick to the tubes in the xylem because of a property called adhesion where water sticks to other objects. Water molecules also stick to themselves because of a property called cohesion. With both of these properties, water molecules are able to work together to climb up the xylem to feed the leaves and the flowers of the plants, or in our case, celery, at the top of the stalk. At the end, something called transpiration takes place, where water will evaporate from the tiny holes or pores of the leaves. Transpiration maintains the cycle and makes more water travel up the plant stalk as more water evaporates. This whole process is called capillary action. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now that we know about capillary action and plant cells, see if you can guess what we might see at the end of 24 hours. Talk to you soon! This is awesome. We can see that the xylem took up the colored water and even the pathways the water travels within the leaves. And because there is a steady amount of colored water throughout each leaf, we know that transpiration occurred in order to continue that process of capillary action. Thanks for joining and see you next time.